Mercury, Saturn, and Sun, these three planets, they come together almost once every year. Every year this happens. And there is chaos, confusion, and achievements. All the three things together. So what's going on in the sky currently? So Mercury around 20th, I guess, uh, February has entered the sign of Aquarius, as you know, and he will be there in the sign of Aquarius till 3rd of March. So you could say around 10 days and February is a short month. So yeah, around a week, one and a half weeks. So this is a very interesting transit because <clears throat> if you see what is happening today so today is 23rd as i'm making this video today there is uh there is there is this full moon today right i think it's tomorrow actually sorry tomorrow <clears throat> so you see sun is in the sign of aquarius and tomorrow uh moon is in the uh it will be in magha nakshatra in fact it has already entered magha nakshatra now it will be in leo of course so it's known as maghi purnima right so now what happens whenever there is a transit you have to always remember this is a very big secret i'm telling you every transit is activated the day when it starts but you will feel the pressure at a mental level either it's good or bad or whatever you say only when the moon joins it okay this is very 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 important for example uh, if you see when there was a new moon in Aquarius, you could you would have not felt this energy because uh, when there was a new moon, which means when sun, moon were together, there was only Saturn, but Mercury was not in Aquarius that time. But now, since the moon is aspecting Mercury and Mercury is aspecting the moon and Saturn is aspecting the moon, <laughs> So now we are feeling this, okay? So now we are feeling this uh, restriction, this constraint. So therefore, now from today, from this very day, this uh, transit is actually activated, okay? Or as I said, it's activated before, but you will feel the push mentally. So moon has just entered. So now as I'm seeing Drik Panchang, uh, moon is in around one degree of uh, Leo. So it is just entered and... <clears throat> Till end of Monday, uh, so sorry, till end of Sunday, I guess, it will be there in the sign of Leo. As you know, around two, two and a half days, the moon stays there. And then it will go to Virgo, okay? But uh, who's there in Virgo? Guess. <laughs> There's Ketu. Ketu Maharaj is sitting right there in Virgo, right? So <laughs> it's like, imagine going away from the whip of Saturn and going and meeting Ketu. So therefore, the next five days, so Friday for whoever, uh, you know, in the West, you know, it's just uh, maybe afternoon now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, okay. The next four, four and a half, five days, uh, it's a bit intense time, okay, because moon is crossing this uh, uh, getting aspect of Saturn and conjunction of Ketu and do not forget if Ketu is conjunct moon, then who's opposite to Ketu? All right, Rahu's there. <laughs> but of course, one thing is good for the next two days, which is today, tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, Jupiter is aspecting uh, this moon, okay? Moon is getting the aspect of Jupiter. And because of this, what happens is there are problems and troubles, but we are still optimistic about it. Okay, now, how does this conjunction uh, turn out? Now, this is a very peculiar conjunction. Because wherever and whenever Sun and Mercury come together, you get new opportunities. Because think, what is Mercury? Mercury is the Karaka for the 10th house. Surya is the Karaka also for the 10th house. And Shani also is the Karaka for the 10th house. So, all the three Karakas of the 10th house are sitting together. Now, where? In the house of Saturn, because Saturn lords Aquarius. And Aquarius is the original 11th sign. So this means the Karakas for the 10th house are now sitting in the Nasargic 11th house, the natural 11th house, which is Aquarius. This is a great time. So professionally, at least, 
there could be many opportunities which you might get during this period and if you get it you should grab it immediately okay some new project some new job of course that will depend on your uh, chart and your dashas you could have a lot of gains from you know some investments you know mutual funds stock market crypto or your real estate may shoot up you know anything can happen <clears throat> but what is important is to grab opportunities now of course, this is a very short transit, but imagine all the three Karakas of the 10th house, they are sitting here. And you know when this will be there again? I don't know. I have to check next year. Maybe Saturn is already moving into um, Pisces next year. I don't know if we will see Sun, Saturn, Mercury together in the uh, sign of Aquarius. Okay. So that means whatever happens in the next 10 to 15 days in your career, they will be foundational to your career. Okay, so if you get any opportunity or any project or if any offer, then please, please, please take it seriously. If you get some feedback from your manager, then take it very seriously. If you get a feedback from your colleague, you should also take it seriously. If you get feedback from your clients, uh, needless to say, right? <laughs> so therefore, you have to understand this is a time for gain gains but the problem is sun and saturn they are two natural malefics right surya not so much but saturn definitely but that's the good thing good thing is saturn and mercury they are friends sun and mercury are also like friends but sun saturn they are enemies so this means there will be some opportunity which will come in but there will be some tasks you know you will feel there is something is there, but uh, it's like the conditions are very tough. You will feel the Libra energy is very strong now. You will feel it. Why the Libra energy? Because you have to understand what is going on in Aquarius. Who is more stronger in Aquarius? Is Mercury more strong or Saturn more strong or the Sun more strong? Right? Of course, Sun is the weakest in Capricorn among the three. But Mercury is strong, but Saturn is the strongest. So whenever a planet is uh, very strong in a zodiac sign uh, and that planet is conjunct another planet, which is like the anti of that planet. Okay, so like Saturn is strong in Aquarius and then Surya is exactly opposite of what is Saturn, right? So then what happens is the planet which is doing good in that sign. So in this case, for this Aquarius we have Saturn because Saturn is having Multricon there. So that planet's exaltation sign becomes very 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 powerful and very prominent. So where does Saturn get exalted? He gets exalted in Libra. So what is Libra? Libra is about negotiation, about talks, about dealings. Okay, But here's the thing, Sun gets debilitated in Libra. right? So when these three planets are together, you will feel that there is a very strong negotiation that you might have to do, <clears throat> especially in your profession, okay? So you might get some good job offer, but there could be some conditions which are like, <laughs> so if you want a job which, which is remote, you will not get a job which is remote. They will say you have to be at the office or if you get a remote job, the pay will not, as, will not be as per your expectation or you get uh, a new project you have to move somewhere so there is an opportunity coming in but there is some stress you know libra is like you know negotiation okay i want this you want that let's sit together in the table and as uh, they say the best negotiation is when two parties leave off the table with some dissatisfaction <laughs> okay so therefore if you get some good opportunities please grab it but understand please read the contract properly Please, please, please read the contract because if you don't read it now, you'll regret later. Okay, so you may get massive opportunities, but with some conditions apply. <laughs> so please read the terms and conditions properly. This is almost like a Mercury retrograde. Not exactly. Mercury retrograde, whatever you do will backfire. But here it won't backfire. But you, you may know it outwardly, but you have to assess it properly, okay? And for people who are running Saturn Dasha, Mercury Dasha or Sun Dasha, Maha Dasha or Antar Dasha, for you, it will be much more important and much more prominent. So you need to understand that this is this can be an excellent time, but you also need to be realistic. 
and you have to understand the other parties needs interests and concerns so nic is the mantra okay needs interests and concerns if you do not understand their needs interests concerns if you're just going on hammering and blabbering your own uh, thing uh, it, it will not work for for sure okay so therefore understand at the end what does your the other party want from you and this can not only be in terms of profession it can also be uh, in terms of your married life or your health okay so for example if this is happening in your first house this can be related to uh, your health okay or if this is happening in your second seventh or eleventh this could also be related to your marriage your married life okay so therefore uh, if it is happening in your ma married life houses second seventh eleventh then please understand that you need to uh, have a good negotiation with your spouse maybe there are some issues where you have complaints uh, from each other and then you 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 got to do something sir madam it won't just solve out of the uh, out of the blue you 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 got to do something you you got to solve it okay so therefore it's a very exciting time uh, but with some uh, with some dents all right so therefore please use this time properly and uh, if you want to uh, send a mail to somebody uh, who is in some big position you want their help you want their recognition or you uh, want them to uh, give you some guidance or whatever you know some help so please be skillful write your email properly um, do nice proof reading if you are sending it to some big ceo or to anybody you want to invite somebody to your home or to your company or maybe to your youtube channel or whatever it is then please do it uh, most likely they will respond and all of this of course depending on what is going on in your horoscope and your dashas okay so that will not be uh, overridden by this superficial conjunction because this is only for 10 days uh, but yes if your dasha is indicating great things you will have massive success during this time and if not uh, well then maybe you still have success the next time when this happens maybe next year or after 30 years <laughs> all right so please use this time properly it's just two more weeks and you will be benefited thank you so much if you're new then please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up if you like this video and uh, for consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure